Welcome back. We are continuing for our life book, Element 19, How Do You Create Healthy Sleep and Unlimited Energy? So we're actually going to be going through pages 400 to 408, and it goes into detail about our rest and energy waves. So within our waking hours, we have these 90-minute ultradian rhythms, and these are similar to our nightly REM cycles. The ultradian rhythm, it's equivalent daytime cycles, and it's needed to have effective attention and focus. So during the day, we, we actually move from these higher to lower alertness, right? We go like this. And when we need a rest, our body actually signals us with hunger, drowsiness, fidgetiness, um, loss of focus. All right. We generally, just so you know, override our body's need to, um, to rest with caffeine, with high foods, um, with or high foods, foods high in sugar, right? Or simple um, complex carbs. And then our bodies on their own, they actually start to produce the stress hormones like adrenaline and cortisol, all right? So we're trying to take things into our own hands. Don't do that. Dr. A actually asked that we take note of these changes in our energy level throughout the day. So take note when you are feeling most alert. And when you're feeling at your lowest, if you um, are drinking coffee or tempted to eat sugary foods at certain times of the day, take note, because once you know this, we can help plan and, you know, really recover and prevent these, those lows in the future. So this is um, where I want to insert either that passive or active rest periods, which I mentioned yesterday. So passive rest these are two things. One, it's um, a true nap that could be divided into power naps or these REM naps. So power nap, I'm sure you've heard of a power nap before. Power naps, these are short um, thing, short naps, about six to 20 minutes, and they partially replenish our neurotransmitters. All right, big words, right? But because they're short and um, quick to recover, they're actually ideal for the workday when time is usually limited. And if they're extended past 20 minutes, sometimes they can leave us in that groggy state. All right, so let me tell you, I was not a napper. That being said, I found the Calm app, which actually has some great naps and it helps me rest. And it says that it's gonna help you, it's gonna wake you up to chirping birds. Don't laugh, I did. I seriously thought there's not a chance this is gonna happen. So I set my alarm the first time I tried to take a nap to make sure, and guess what? It woke me up. <laughs> calmly, peacefully to chirping birds. Go figure. So I just want to throw that out there in case that's something you want to try. But REM naps, REM naps are longer. And these are when, you know, 90 minutes, right? So not practical for most of us, especially during the working week. Um, it's important not to have these three hours within our twilight hour, okay? Because we do not want to interfere with our night sleeping patterns. All right, so now let's talk about active rest. Active rest, these are the methods that you can employ throughout the day that can help boost your energy, calm your mind. They'll also help you sleep better at night because it's gonna help keep your mind from racing, all right? There are four key areas that Dr. A talks about to help us restore balance and our energy and alertness, all right? First is physically, doing some deep breathing. We've talked about deep breathing a lot, right? Stretching. Um, the second one is mentally whether it's meditation, gratitude, listening to some soothing music. The third one is socially, talking with your family and friends. And the fourth one is spiritually, prayer, okay? These rest waves, they allow us to recover. And as a result, when we insert these active or passive rest waves, we can recover much quicker, you know, be more efficient. You know, we can be effective, we can be alert, productive, as well as take the stress burden and those negative health con consequences out of the equation, all right? This is the true power of the habits of health, sleep and energy restoration, okay? This takes our suboptimal days and really helps having them aligned with our health and well-being. So the next thing Dr. A talks about in this element is he wants us to track and measure our progress. Now we've talked a lot about that tracking and measuring back in element 13, when we were talking about tracking um, our progress to a healthy weight. So in um, some questions, in order for you to elevate your current sleep habits, there's nine questions on page 405 that Dr. A um, wants us to answer. 
Okay. So um, I am going to read them quick. Okay. What time did you go to bed last night? What time did you get out of bed this morning? What hours did you actually sleep? Did you take a nap? And if so, for how long? Did you consume alcohol? How much? And at what time? Did you exercise? How long? And at what time? Did you drink coffee or other caffeinated beverages? How much and what time? How many hours did you watch TV? And at what time? Did you take any medications? And at what time? All right. In this, after those questions on page 408, Dr. A actually gives us an energy ruler and a chart to help us track and really learn more about our energy levels. All right. So that's where we're going to end today. Yay. Thanks for joining me. We are almost finished element 19 of your life book. Tomorrow, we're actually going to talk about your prime time for productivity. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Please feel free, like, comment, share the post. Hop on over to the YouTube channel called Healthy Environment, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.